In today's Breaking Down the Basics, we're going to be talking about an income drawdown and what does that mean as it relates to your retirement and the sustainability of income during those retirement years. Unfortunately for many, having a predictable income stream in retirement has become increasingly more difficult with CD rates and fixed income instruments uh, really sitting at all time lows today and not bringing in any kind of reasonable rate of return, we're having to rely on a significant portion of our investments to fill what we call the income gap. What an income gap is, is if you have social security and or a pension, that's going to fill a portion of the income that you're going to need each month. But the remaining amount that you're going to have to pull each and every month is the income gap. And so we're going to have to use the investment portfolio as the resource to pull that income out of. And so the way that an income drawdown should work in today's environment is that we want to make sure that the money that we're, we know we're going to need for income each and every month is sitting in an investment strategy that really doesn't have any kind of risk tied to it. Because if you have your income in a position where you can lose value, that income might not last you as long as it's supposed to. And so we want to make sure that a portion of the investments go into a strategy that is going to be protected from any kind of market risk and getting a reasonable rate of return. And believe it or not, there are great options still out there today that you can get a reasonable rate of return while having that principle protected. What that's going to do is create an income that we're going to be able to pull out of each and every month for many, many years to come. And in a lot of cases, we're able to show people how to provide a 15 to 20 to 25 year income coming out of that investment that is going to be sustainable and reliable during all market conditions. And what that allows you to do is to take the remaining portion of the money that we're not counting on for income because we're not going to spend every dollar all at once and put that into an investment strategy that can generate higher rates of return. And that may be money that's in the market and if the market's kind of going up and down as it does each and every day, that isn't going to impact the amount of income that you're able to generate. So on a portion of the money, we're able to have a strategy that's getting a great rate of return over time while still providing predictable and reliable income during those retirement years. And we've been doing this here at Beacon for over 25 years and I can tell you that the peace and comfort that it gives people knowing that their income is going to come from investments that don't have any risk tied to them, that is going to be predictable, it's reliable, it's sustainable, that gives them the confidence to go out there and be an investor for growth. If you think about what got you to retirement, for almost everybody out there is investments that were in the market, 401ks, mutual funds, things like that. And so while the market is our biggest upside potential as it relates to investing, it's also our biggest downside risk. And many of you out there that experienced some market losses in 2008 and before that 2001 and 02 and before that there were many times prior, we know that the market goes up and down over time and in order to get the rates of return that we're targeting, it is time that we need. And many people go, well, in retirement, Dan, I don't have time anymore. If the market were to go down and to pull back, that could have a detrimental impact on my lifestyle and what I've worked 30 and 40 years for. And that's exactly why we've created an income drawdown to really give you the best of both worlds. Again, we want to have a portion of those investments in a strategy, no more than we have to have, but in a strategy, strategy that's going to provide predictable and reliable income for many years and really targeting that 15 to 25 year time horizon. And what that does is it buys you time to be a growth investor on the other money out there, having your investments grow, having a, a, a pot of money to be able to support discretionary expenses or healthcare expenses in retirement, and to really help offset inflation. We have to have money in a position for growth. In order to do that, we have to have time, which is why the income drawdown protects a portion of that, creates the time needed to allow our other investments time to grow. And that is today's Breaking Down the Basics.